Hi, this is Holly from The Sweet Simple Things, and welcome to my channel where we make healthy and nourishing recipes the whole family will love. Make sure you hit subscribe to see all the latest recipes. Today I'm going to show you how I make my 100% whole wheat sourdough beer rocks. I kind of made these with Oktoberfest in mind, just kind of a really fun festive food that is super delicious and comforting. So I started with my whole wheat flour. I'm using fresh milled flour, but you could use bagged whole wheat as well. Um, sourdough starter, some olive oil. I'm gonna do a little bit of honey, um, some salt, just kind of like typical sourdough um, ingredients. Um, and then I just mix it all together. Oh, some water and milk. Uh, the combo of water and milk makes the dough very soft and elastic, which helps us to be able to stuff these beer rocks without ripping the dough. So, on oh, a beaten egg, I almost forgot that. Anyway, you get all the ingredients in your mixer, just mix it together. And since I'm using fresh milled flour for this, after mixing, I let it rest for about 30 minutes. That jump starts the gluten development before you go to knead it, which is super important if you are a fresh milled flour user like me. But if you are using bagged flour, you could probably skip the dough rest and be fine. But anyway, after the dough rests about a half hour, I'm gonna put my dough hook on there and just start kneading it. This doesn't need a ton of kneading, but you're going to knead until you get a nice, smooth, supple ball. After you're done kneading it, I'm gonna put it in a clear sided container so I can watch the rise. Um, just put it in there and then cover it and you're gonna let it ferment until it rises about 50, 60% or so. So you've got a couple options for timing here. You can start it early in the morning, let it rise a few hours until it's gone about 50%, then stick it in the fridge until you're ready to make it. Or you could make it the night before, stick it in the fridge overnight, pull it out in the morning to finish rising. But either way, this is a recipe that can be made same day if you'd like. Then it's time to make the filling, you know, shortly before you wanna bake these. So you're gonna brown the ground beef, and then um, once it's about halfway browned, you're gonna add your diced onion, get it all cooked up, and drain any grease that you need to. Now I have some kids that don't really want to eat cabbage in these so I'm going to take half of my mixture here and separate it and I'm going to just set that aside because I'm just going to make like a cheeseburger beer rock. I'll show you how I do that but that's kind of for the picky eaters that don't like cabbage. Uh, but my recipe, uh, the link is in the post, that's going to have how much cabbage you need to just make this a full batch of beer rocks. But I'm adding my diced cabbage to the mix and then we're going to cook it until it's softened and then we'll add all of our seasonings and then take it off the heat and we'll be ready to put inside the beer rocks. Okay, so the best way to figure out how big you should make these is to kind of weigh the full batch of dough. I do that by putting the bowl on the scale, pressing tear, taking the dough out, and putting the bowl back on so I can look at how much weight I've taken out. I'm gonna divide this by 12 because this recipe makes 12 beer rocks. For me, this is about 95 grams, so that's how I'm sizing mine. Um, I. I always size and individually portion things so that they are even because then I know they'll bake evenly. You don't have to do that. If you want to eyeball this into 12 portions, you do you. It, it'll be fine. But anyway, I am dividing these into about 95 grams each into 12 balls and then we will go ahead and roll these out and stuff them. So to roll them out, I just use my hands. You don't need a rolling pin for these. This is not... A hard job to do we're just gonna flatten it out until it's big enough now try not to let the middle get too thin or it might break as you're folding it up but you want it as big as you can get it because um, you want to get you don't want to be skimpy on the filling I mean you want this to be hearty and like you know a meal in and of itself so you want to get it rolled out pretty good about a quarter inch thick 
And then again, I did the same thing. I weighed my full amount of filling and divided it by 12 so I knew they were all gonna be equal. But if you wanna eyeball it, go ahead. I'm putting about 67 grams of filling per thing because that's, you know, everyone, you might want to measure your own because depending on how exact you are with the cabbage and everything, it could vary. But anyway, pull corners up like that, pinch them together, then you'll just work your way around and pinch, do the other side. You know, if you have filling spilling out, you can go ahead and kind of um, push it back in. And then this dough is really elastic and stretchy, which is helpful when you are trying to do this. So anyway, work your way around. Now we're gonna grab the corners from that. And you're just gonna keep doing this until everything is all closed up. You don't have any holes where things can leak out. This is easier to do than it looks. Um, well, maybe it doesn't look too bad. I don't know. I thought it looked hard, but I actually found that it was very easy. You're, the dough is super workable, very elastic and workable. So don't let this intimidate you. You can do it. Okay, and then you're just gonna, you know, do it again. Multiply this by 12. Okay, now for like the cheeseburger style, for those that maybe don't want cabbage in there, and honestly, if they really don't like onions, you could leave that out too. Um, you could just do seasoned ground beef and shredded cheddar. I did this for my kids because they are scared of cabbage. I don't know why I love cabbage, but I don't know. I remember what it's like to be a kid. Sometimes cabbage is scary. But anyway, go ahead, um, put some filling in there and then I just top it with a big pile of shredded cheese as much as you want you know measure with your heart and then fold it all up the exact same way pretty easy okay and then I just like to cover them with a little plastic wrap but you could use a damp tea towel too I like a damp tea towel that'll keep it from drying out um, and let these rest for about 30 to 45 minutes and in this time you can preheat the oven and we're gonna do 375 and they bake for just 20 minutes they bake up pretty fast and they are so delicious. So you can see the ones with the cheese have a little of the cheese melting out, um, so just be aware of that. I make a beer cheese fondue to serve with the regular ones. This is amazing, and I'll have a link to this in the caption. This whole meal is perfect for Oktoberfest. So anyway, hope you give it a try. Let me know what you think.